Hello everybody, today is a absolutely fabulous May 24th, 2016, and we have another unboxing to do, and I'm really eager. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will get into it, so I want to open the box now. I just have it flipped around because I put my dress on it, so I'll just cut this open here. I hope I don't like... Alrighty then, just rip into this right here. This was given to me via eBay. It's good to see that everything is there. I just need to sort of cut into this bit. Sorry if my forearm's walking the tripod. But here we go. That's all out now. Let's take this out. Here's the thing itself. Here's a power brick. And here's a box. I'm gonna throw this away. And they heard that's the unboxing, folks. No, not really. I'm not that cheap. We're gonna unbox some more. This is a Lenovo power adapter. It has a slim tip type. Have you guessed what it is yet? Well, you probably didn't know because it's in the title of the video. Right here is battery. The security seal's already open, so I'll right. open this up anyway. And hmm. I see a small piece fell out, but we can we can fix it, I hope. Here's a battery right here. Here we go. The seller, I wasn't actually told of what battery this would be, but the seller actually gave me a extended battery, which is amazing. That will give me so much better battery life than my current T430 gives me. And that was part of the reason why I bought this laptop, folks. Oh, we still have something else to undo to take out. It's just a standard little power cord, little figure eight type on the end here. All right, so let's take, I wonder how this is packaged. Here's the back of it. Let's get the knife again. Sorry if my audio is drifting everywhere, but that's sort of the way things are going nowadays. Okay, I'm trying not to cut myself, all right? All of you people complaining, I'm doing this extremely carefully. My face is not actually above the camera. My face is to the side of it. So, let's unwrap it. I'm getting excited. Are you? Well, maybe you are, maybe you are. Doesn't matter. Now we can take it out. <laughs> this thing is so thin. Check it out. Let me pull it out. Yeah. Yes. Thank God. This, ta-da! This is it. Right here. A ThinkPad. Very thin ThinkPad. Not a thick pad like the ones I used to, the, like the ones I own. But a thin pad. Here's a bottom. I can actually show you the bottom now that there is no, like, uh, COAs or anything on it. I'm going to show you the inside, because I'm, I'm ecstatic that I actually managed to afford a somewhat brand new ThinkPad. Here's the inside. I am not kidding, folks. That is incredible. This is the touchpad. It is not your traditional style of Lenovo touchpad, I'll tell you that. It is the T440 style, which is obviously because this machine is a T440. This is amazing. I love this thing so much already, even though I haven't even turned it on. It's pretty incredible that I was able to actually buy one of these with my limited amount of funds that I currently have. Um, very nice. There is literally absolutely no wear on it. Looks amazing. But I think we're going to clean up. I'm going to put the battery in. I'm going to try and plug it in. And I'm going to boot it up. And I, I was said that this machine will be having Windows 7 Pro on it. But there's a Windows 8 Pro license on the bottom. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work. But we'll see. All right. Be back in a flash. Okay, we've got everything set up here. All right, folks. Now it's a moment of truth. I really hope this turns on. Well, it should. Otherwise, I'll be really angry. It's on. Although, no, it's not. Hmm. Hi guys, I thought I'd just give a little, um, sort of in, uh, in video review here of this T440. 
Um, so right now I am doing a cloning of the hard disk that's in here because I'm upgrading it to a crucial MX200 SSD. Very nice. Um, with some crucial memory as well. So when that's done, I'll probably go back with the chassis open and check things out. With the cloning complete, we can now take the bottom cover off, which um, brings a whole new slew of issues. First of all, the screws are, I don't like them. And these little clips um, are made out of liquid plastic and like to break off easy. But eh, it's not the end of the world if that happens. Plus, there's no window COA on the bottom. It's good. Okay, let's take the cover off and become frustrated. And after that's done, we'll install the SSD. So our SSD is installed, that's nice. And this is the old hard drive here. Let's just put that there. Um, HGST hard drive. Um, the hard drive mounting on this system is um, a little bit interesting to say the least, and that there is no screws, it's literally just four little push pins on the outside that go on it. By the way, they come, the hard drive comes with this little spacer on it. Um, you don't really need to use it, other than because this already has a little foam pad at the bottom there, in this corner, so you don't really need to use it, it's not necessary. So now it's time for the RAM under this little cover. Another thing to note, the, this particular model, the 20B7S0K800, does not have any RAM on the motherboard itself, which I find extremely infuriating because it can only go up to a maximum of 8, gigs of, of eight gigabytes of RAM in this single slot here. This is a 4 gig module because this is already a somewhat neutered system, but I don't really care, so... I guess it's time to uh, install a couple of more things. Uh, we have 8 gigabytes of crucial RAM. Make sure it's DDR3L and not DDR3, because it just won't run, because the computer won't be able to provide enough power for it. Another interesting fact about the system is, in this area where this plastic thing is, there would be an internal battery. Unfortunately, there is none on this. It is literally just a blanking plate. The internal battery would connect in here if I had one, but... Uh, that may be a future upgrade, but right now is not really necessary. So I'm going to put the cover back on and we will boot it up and give us a review after a little while, hopefully. Another little update on the T430, I, sorry, T440, sorry. I have put in some Arctic Cooling MX4 Thermal Compound, which they say is a really nice thermal compound. But, um... As far as I know, the temps are still not up to my expectations, really. This is just sitting on the desktop with a couple of things open, like Firefox and Skype under Windows 10. I don't really know what it is, but my room is at about 27 degrees Celsius. And yes, I actually did have to put this on two times before I was satisfied with my application of it. Um... This SSD's been working well. The RAM is detected. I think it works fine. I just don't understand why it's so hot, but I think part of that also is to do with the fact that it's uh, the power supply is also in. I may go into the BIOS as well and check out some of the settings in there, and uh, we'll see what's up with that. But I wonder if there's something to do with speed step. I wonder if speed step is either enabled nor disabled on this. But, we'll see what happens. Hello there everyone. Today is April 8th, 2017. And I thought I would just give you guys a little update on the status of the Lenovo ThinkPad T440, which I unboxed and upgraded earlier in the video. So, where do I begin? First things first. This computer has now been upgraded to what I call pure bliss. This thing has the absolute best, at least what I think, 1080p IPS, technically PLS, Samsung display, all EDP, the T450 trackpad, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is the maximum amount for this machine's motherboard, and a 500 gigabyte SK Hynix SSD. 
Now, as you may have seen from earlier in this video, I was putting in 240GB Crucial, but I had chosen to go for the SK Hynix as it is a little bit larger and I could use the Crucial in another computer, so that's what I did. This computer is absolutely incredible. I could not recommend it highly enough if you're willing to put in at least a little bit of work. Um, I think the whole entire configuration um, in Canadian dollars probably cost me around 800 just because of the fact that I have the screen, the trackpad, the SSD, the RAM, everything. It's very nice. This computer is very good for just any performance tasks. I have done some video editing on it now that I don't have my Mac Mini anymore and it works fairly well. I'm not sure if I'll be using it for that but still good to know that it works. I do not have the backlit keyboard on this model because I thought that would just get dirty a bit too quickly. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just give you the last little bit here as well. Also, over here near my main setup, I have a ThinkPad Ultra Docking Station, which now acts as my um, desktop. Basically, I just have everything plugged into here, just comes right out. It's even lockable as well, you could lock it. You can see the little red locking light. Oh, crappy TN screens are great, aren't they? So yeah, I think that's definitely a very nice accessory and have not tried one of these on a ThinkPad before. So I thought I would and they're pretty awesome. Just plug everything you need into the back and one port, that's it. So I think that's going to be about it for this part of the video. Thank you for watching.